What up gamers, Fence here here, and welcome back to Starfield. So yeah, last time uh, while I was, you know, looking around to sue to like sell my weapons and also I got this interview to do. Yeah, we found the adoring fan, which is awesome. But yeah, I feel like, you know, everyone, like I guess those who are Bethesda fans will always choose that for their traits just to experience it at least David once. Is the most famous journalist in the settled systems. Wait, that's so cool. I mean, I would just... Like, for me personally, I would always choose it because, you know, I just like more companions around to choose from. Um, but I, I do wish, you know, when, when it comes to Bethesda games, I like to have, you know, multiple companions. At least, you know, two other ones. I feel like, you know, that's like two other ones is good enough. Or maybe three, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I guess it's still like one at a time. Um, anyways. Story for me or not? Yeah, I'm the uh, person from, from Vectera. <laughs> by the terror, by the terror, by the terror. Yeah. Welcome to SSNN, where the news never sleeps. If you're part of the David Barron fan club, try not to inflate his ego too much. He's liable to burst. Um. I mean. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you have the yawning? That's so cool. Anyways, um, yeah, um, <laughs> what's your problem with David Barron? We spend hundreds of hours digging into stories, sorting the lies from the damned lies. Then David performs a two-minute segment and wins an award. Who'd have a problem with that? Well, who are you? A cog in the machine. If you mean literally, Nadia Mufaz, head researcher of the office. So, if we got any facts wrong, I'm the one who files your complaint into the shredder. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, too. Sorry. Long day. Longer night. <clears throat> How about a do-over? Let's take a look at you. You... You're not from around here. My guess is you work, really work, for a living. I was a miner. I bet you have a story or two. I have a feeling about such things. Uh, I always want to be famous. Actually, your insert asked me to do, do an interview for you. Tommy? Tommy did something useful? Oh. <laughs> so you must be the captain of the... I guess that's not frontier. often happening. Rumor is there was a firefight at a mining installation. I'm interested only in primary sources. So things you've seen and or done that are newsworthy. No hearsay. I was... So, what do you got for me? I mean, yeah, I was pretty much doing the attack there. I mean, yeah, I was working for SSNN. For short-staffed, overworked, and trying to report on a million things at once. Not to mention there's a constant battle with the powers that be to maintain our journalistic principles. So, things are just swell. Well, how, oh, I mean, what's David Baron really like? Dear Lord, everyone wants to know about Baron. He's a smart guy. He cares about what he's reporting. He's way too damn cozy with the UC, and that's a problem for us staying impartial. My biggest beef with him is he's credited with everything he reports, and he doesn't lift a finger to correct that impression. That's messed up. Well, I mean... Yeah. What stories are you working on right now? I'm working on an investigative piece about some of the businesses in the well right now. Trying to get a handle on how things are in that part of the city. I'm not sure the story will get off the ground, though. <clears throat> I asked the higher-ups if I could go down there for some interviews, but they said it's too dangerous. Oh, well, I'm not. Probably be all for it if David Gonna asked. go there. Um, you think anyone will read something, something like that? I wouldn't be writing it if I didn't. Most people in New Atlantis like to pretend the well doesn't exist. I think it's important to call attention to what's going on down there. Well, tough luck. I'm not doing it for you. Tell me about it. My career's never going to get off the ground at this rate. I mean, what about my interview with you? I mean, I I can... I've just got a feeling about you. You have a story to tell. Yeah, the Crimson Fleet attacked an Argos mining facility on Victera. Oh. Well, Looks like some is that groundbreaking that it break the game. <laughs> it's easier to hit stationary targets than dogfighting in the field. 
And you are an eyewitness with the courtesy to find us instead of being chased down. Refreshing. So what were the pirates doing there? It's not their usual MO. <laughs> um... I mean, I'll just keep it, you know, somewhat discreet as possible. Because, yeah, I'm willing to do the interview. I just don't want to say too much that I might get in trouble for saying. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, in general, I just have no idea. I'm just glad I survived. Same here. Interviewing corpses isn't my forte. So what's your role in all this? Part of a tour group? Um... I ran the whole dig. <laughs> um... I'd rather keep my name and role out of the story. Ah, the old anonymous source. A dance I know all too well. So we've covered the basics. How about any harrowing tales of daring do? How'd a bunch of miners triumph? Well, <laughs> I took on, on defense with my handy mining laser. Now I use a pistol. I mean... I don't want to say any specifics, but yeah, the mining crew banded together and fought them off with mining lasers. I mean, we had pistols too. Why can't we say we had pistols? We had weapons. <laughs> um, but yeah, the mining crew banded together and fought them off with mining lasers. Huh. Sounds like a good outfit. The heroic miner is a good angle. This is a good local story. Plucky miners band together and punch above their weight. If you ever get more stories like this, drop by. And take this to cover any incidentals or other creative ways to pad out an expense report. Hey, do we get. Yep, we got 500. There we go. Hey, we leveled up too. Nice. Um. Wait, what can we do right now with it? Um, yeah, we need to do that first, though. Um, oh, we can unlock better locks with that. Hmm. Yeah, it's current ring two. Um. Wait, there's a stealth meter, too. Should I get it just to unlock the stealth meter? I wonder if I should just get it just to unlock that. <laughs> um, you know what? I'll get it. Should I? I don't know. I'm always in combat. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead. I want to see what the stealth meter is like. So if I go and crouch. Oh, we got the classic Bethesda thing. Oh, that's so cool, like the uh, detection meter, or, yeah, the thing. Sergeant Yumi's looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. No thanks. All, all right, well, it's time to go. But you gotta say, I like a lot of these, um, you know, new features that they improve upon. Like, yeah, I think with the O2, that's what I'm looking at right now. And, yeah, it's really cool to see that... You know, we can still run, even though we're out of, like, stamina and stuff. Like, we, we can still run fast. Check. You're out there a lot, right? Like, yeah, I like, I do like that. Um, hold on, I need to <laughs> set an objective here. Okay, let's go to, uh, wherever we need to go to next. Um, yeah, let's go back to Vectera. Hmm, missions. Yeah, I don't care about this. I'm not finding news for you. I just want to do that small interview. I mean, yeah, maybe one day we'll go back, but uh, for now, I just want to, um, I just want to do this. Uh, set course. There we go. All right, let's see how you do in combat, because I'm guessing there will be some combat to do. <laughs> All right. Well, back on Vectera, let's see what they're like. You know, it kind of reminds me of, like, you know, when you need to return to, like, your starting area. Like in, um, you know, like back in Vault 111 to get a better weapon. Like one of the rarer weapons. Or even, like, Vault 101. Was it 101? 
that's the one in Fallout 3, right? Where you can see like what's happened after that vault, like, like, happened. <laughs> like the stuff that happened in there. See the aftermath. But yeah, that's cool. Um, or even like in Skyrim, you know, like in Helgen. Now it's like being run by, by bandits and all that. Well, yeah, let's see what it's like here um, <laughs> in in Vectera. But they said that they're just wrapping up, right? But like, apparently, apparently that's not good for Barrett. Maybe, maybe because he hasn't reported back. Maybe. Well, here we are. Hello. Hey, I'm back. Um, this come on, game. This place is very empty. We'll just have to fill it. <laughs> um, hello. Is that you, Heller, or Supervisor Lynn? Oh, it's Lynn, I think. Yeah, it's well, Lynn. Well, you're back. Yeah. Lynn! <laughs> Where's Barrett? <laughs> oh, we'll get to what happened to Barrett. Uh-oh. Lynn! <laughs> oh, no. Don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. <laughs> the sequel. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Ah. Uh. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Oh, they're also called Dusties too. Okay. Well. Yeah, why hit the same place twice? Uh, what could they gain? Who knows with pirates? Revenge? Peeking at the scraps? Maybe they're from a different crew and we just got hit twice by sheer bad luck. Well, yeah, my bad. I didn't know. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lynn. I got you. Um. <laughs> Apparently, I do know that talk. Um. I mean, yeah, that doesn't sound good. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. Oh. Um, it was going so well, so well until that part. Um. Yeah, I'll see that. I didn't overhear everything. But after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up. And both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. Oh, great. And that's the last I saw of either of them. Um, <laughs> so he just stood around and did nothing. Boss of the year right here. I mean, I don't blame her, man. Um, yeah, a courier said Argos was packing up. Why not mention the attack? Too risky to put that in the message. Too much liability. You know how it is. Our clients need to know when the operations start and stop. We handle the rest. I guess that's fair. Um... I mean, I, I mean, I don't, I don't blame you though. <laughs> I don't want to see this because they're just miners, right? They're not really, they're not like the vanguard. So I don't expect them to like, you know, be ex experts at this. But yeah, I just need to find Barrett and Lynn, uh, not <laughs> Barrett and Heller Lynn. They could have grab jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them. <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. Okay, fix the the um, comms computer. Okay, right, let's go for it. All right, so yeah, apparently um, Barrett and Hella were captured. Uh, how do we? Oh, switch. Let's go in. I'm an adoring fan. Do you have a name? 
Well, that's cool how they got the same voice actor to do, like reprise his role. But yeah, this is definitely like, wow, look at that. <laughs> this is definitely the most Bethesda game ever. I love the memes. Okay. Industrial workbench. I like the doors. Here we go. Um. What the heck? Oh. It's, it's locked though. What the heck? Um. Okay, time to play. Yeah, we can do that. Or should we do another one? Hmm. Oh yeah, we can do that. Then we, if we do this, there's like one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we can do it like that. Uh, there we go. Oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> that was easy. That goes there. And that goes there. There we go. All right, let's go in. See what we can do. Look for a power source. You notice some auxiliary power banks in the next room. They appear to use standard power cells. Optional, obtain three power cells. All right. Um. So yeah, we gotta go and find the three power cells. Nope. Come on. No, no, no. All right, Doring fan, get in here. Run back out. Put on your spacesuit. Let's go and fix this, baby. Oh, look at this robot. What? Check for power cells. Um. Oh, there's probably one back in there. I don't want. Is that you, Lynn? You wanna try fixing oh. that computer? Go ahead. Yeah, I'll talk to her later. I, I just want to focus on repairing this thing. Um. Oh, here, it's over here. There we go. Uh, get in here, dude. Okay. Um... Okay, one more to go. Gee, I'm guessing is <laughs> all the way back where we were at. I right, get in here, man. Going back out. And go back in. Alright. Come on, man. <laughs> he just knocked down something. Oh no! Oh well, I I hope he just teleports inside. It's okay. He can just wait out there if he wants. Okay. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's the main... Hmm. Hold on. Okay, I guess we gotta talk to her for, like, a third one. And yeah, he just got inside. Good for you. I'll just... Yeah, since you can teleport inside, I'll just leave you behind. <laughs> hey, Lin! Oh. Yep, he's praising me. <laughs> hey, can you tell me, um... About a third... Third power cell? Up, Dusty. What a mess. Yeah, I need a power cell to repair the comms computer. Don't see what good it will do since they're already gone, but fine. Here. You need any more, feel free to scavenge around. Yep, I did that. Um... You alright? I'm fine, Dusty. In this line of work, you make do. Even when the worst happens. Yeah, well, goodbye. That's all I need. I don't need any more. Alright. Well. Goodbye, Doring fan. <laughs> alright. Um. So we plug this in here. Then. With this up, 
Um, emergency transmission, I guess. Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. Do you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller? One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. <laughs> we're doomed. Capital B, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. Uh, sure thing. Okay. Well, there's our clue. Um. I guess now we just go back outside. Go back out. Oh, he was just going in. That's why the door was closed. No, 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 no. You don't go there. We gotta go to uh, wherever the coordinates are to rescue uh, <laughs> rescue Barrett. Um, hey. Can we talk? Uh, I guess you can talk after you so you move your lips. Did you actually get that computer working again? Um, yep. I found a uh, transmission from Barrett. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing you know, they even have laughing I still never expressions. What again. the heck? Hella, on the other hand. Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Yep. Um. <laughs> why don't you come with me? What? Really? Uh, not really cut out for whatever it is people like you and Barrett do. It's okay. But it might not be a bad time to think about a career change after all this. If you have room in your crew for an outpost supervisor, maybe we can talk. Oh. I mean, I knew it. You care about them. You're a softie. Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change. Yeah, lately. you said that. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Oh yeah, that's cool. But how do we recruit her? I want to recruit her, like... Lynn. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. Yeah, I mean... My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Well, can you be a follower? Um, you'd be okay working for me? Sure. I don't mind taking orders from a former employee. It can't be worse than working for Barrett. <laughs> I mean, I want to see if, if, um, you know, we can have her help us rescue Barrett because I feel like that might unlock some unique conversations, but... You're really ready to leave the Argos. After this mess? Certainly. It's just a job. Nothing to get sentimental about. Uh, what kind of things can you do for me? If you give me an outpost to run, I'll have it optimized for rapid material production in no time. I can make myself useful in other ways, too. I'm a good hand with explosives, and you'll never hear me complain about carrying a heavy pack. Oh. That's good. Well... I mean, you're just, you know, the kind of traveling companion I want. You should come along. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I need it. Um. Let's see. Not available. Can I, like, unassign her? Oh. Hmm. Can't assign her to anything at all. I can't assign to the ship. 
Oh man, that sucks. I mean, I feel bad just leaving her here. I guess she's more of like an outpost person. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. I mean, I didn't even give you any job. <laughs> um, man, I wish she was a companion. I mean, she said she can work in explosives, right? Hold on. Good luck finding Barrett. Keep an eye out for Hello while you're at it. Um. Yeah, let me see. What if I unassign both, both Vasco and her? So unassign, unassign. Um. Oh, here we go. That's weird. So we can have three. Like I know it says two. I even noticed that before. But for some reason, Sarah Morgan, she doesn't count. Okay. Well, we got Lynn. Vasco can stay behind for now. Yeah, can you follow me? Or should I dismiss him? If you um, have any orders, I'm ready to receive them. Marching orders? Yeah, can we... Have you not follow me? Can I ask you some personal questions or no? Of course. Yeah. Your fandom. <laughs> Actually, no, nothing. Great. Um, okay, well, can I get some dialogue that she can join us? I really want her to join us. Hey, you think we have to be inside? Oh, here we go. Yeah. He always finds a way. Can him. Yeah, I'd like you to follow me for a while. Very good. Let's go. Okay, goodbye, adoring fan. Have fun back in the ship, or maybe exploring around here. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and try to find Barrett's over here. Uh, where is he at? Um... Yeah, here, set course. Yep, yeah, let's go there. Travel. But yeah, never knew uh, Barrett was that... That much of a fun person. Like, when we met him, I thought he was, you know, pretty chill. But yeah, like, <laughs> he sounds pretty, like, he sounds crazier than than what I met him as, I guess, when we first met. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, let's go and save uh, Barrett and Heller. But yeah, that for us, it's mainly for Barrett for Constellation, but also Heller too. You know, he was there with us as well. Um... Okay. We just go on that planet here. I mean, let's see if we can just go to where we need to go to. Oh, here we go. There's a, a ship here that we can just explore. Alright. Wait, it's pretty cool that they're using, like, the, um, the elements from the periodic table or like you know just like science stuff in general even though yeah for me I'm not the best in science <laughs> it's one of my weaker subjects in school but it's cool that you know I don't know I just think from a, a style standpoint it, it does sound cool with the whole NASA punk and all that going on all right here we go and yeah, I wonder how we do, um, I do wonder how do we, um, yeah, exit the ship. Oh, well, hold on, let me get up. Are we, do we have any lost health? Oh my. Jeez. So crowded in the adoring fan. Captain. You have returned. Please. Yes. A cursory good work scan dealing with those merchants in Freestar Space. In good health. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Like so I even though Vasco... They said thanks. Oh jeez, this can be a problem. <laughs> good job. That's it? Yes. Oh boy. Come oh. on. Okay. You're welcome. Although... Yeah, cool story, guys. I need to get through. I can't push them. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, hey, Lin. Oh, man. So, yeah, this will be fun. I like how all the companions are in one place. I don't have to go to their homes and stuff to recruit them. So, yeah, even though we dismiss Vasco, he's still here. And also since, you know, with, I guess, these guys. I guess they're companions too, maybe? I know he is, right? I think I saw that. I don't know about her, but... Yeah, it's just cool to see that... You know, the companions, they can all be in one ship. At least maybe for now, I imagine that... You know, it might be get... Might get too crowded <laughs> for all that. <laughs> all this mess going on. Because, yeah, we had some trouble, like, going through. Like, I know that's why Bethesda... You know, doesn't want to add more companions, because they might block the way. I mean, that kind of happened when you use the elevator back in Fallout 4. Where, like, it's kind of, like, crowded and looks kind of weird. But yeah, um, yeah, definitely we'll go and rescue Barrett in the next video. And yeah, that was us going Did back to, uh, Vectera. Set of orders for me today? But yeah, definitely would like to at least have one more companion. I just feel like that's more natural, you know? Instead of, like, having one, I like having, like, a group of uh, at least, you know, three other people, I would say. Maybe two or three. Um, but yeah, maybe that'll be a mod. Anyway guys, that'll be it for now. That's game.